I'm excited. A return. I've been waiting for this for a long time. To cheer. I love cheering, and I love cheering with everyone that's around me. Anything but routine for South Dakota State junior Brianna Damaris. This will be my first time trying stuff. <laughs> so hopefully, it does good. Like a motivating chant. Brianna's seemingly endless positivity Let's go, is finally lifting her to cherished heights. Let's go, Jax! More than a year earlier, her comeback story started from crutch. Let's go, Jax! When school started, it was like the second week, I had blood clots in my right ankle. A rare condition no impacting Brianna's right leg to to led to a life-altering diagnosis. It just kept getting worse and worse, and like the doctors tried, they tried everything to help save my foot, but it just didn't work. To stop the spread, Brianna, 19 at the time and a longtime cheerleader, needed amputation. I cried. <laughs> It was shocking because like he, like early on he did tell me that like these I could end up getting an amputation but I just didn't really process that in my head didn't think that like that would ever happen like I was like no that's not going to happen it's going to be fine when he told me yeah it was a day. When we found this out, we were just in complete shock. Brianna's parents, longtime Sanford Health employees in Sioux Falls, were stunned. You just never think it's gonna happen to you or anything like this could possibly happen to you or your family until it does. Hi, Brianna. Hi. I'm Brian. How are you? Think I'm good. Come on back. A month after surgery, a bandaged Brianna meets Brian Iverson. Like I said, the two biggest things we got to worry about right now are your wound healing and then the range of motion in your knee. And begins her long climb back to the top of the pyramid. And I really want to be on two feet. Range of motion. Come back around. Mobility. I want you to do like your cheer moves. And balance. I'm not good at balancing on this leg. I was on the other leg. <laughs> like. It was a challenge. She was probably the rock for all of us. Straight to the gym. We're doing the parallel bars. Okay. So you have something to hang on to. The physical okay. therapist introduces parallel bars and dips for strength. Awesome job. Really good. Even before a prosthetic, Brian has Brianna back on her foot. I go like this, okay, so and I like this. Way. Before they're done, she's doing steps and activating her arms. Brianna, that was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. We're just going to go right over here. After patiently waiting to heal enough for a prosthetic. I'm good. I'm good right now. So. Are you tired? No, I'm doing good. Brianna proudly showed off her new leg in August. Like at first it was kind of hard, but then once like I keep going, now I'm getting used to it. Is it okay? Yes. All right. No pain? Nope. Let's do. It feels really good because I've been waiting for 11 months now. So finally getting to this point, I'm so excited because I can't wait for things ahead. Brianna received her prosthesis approximately a week ago, so we've been just working on progressing her walking so that she can regain her independence and walk at a normal speed and resume her activities. Brian is so amazing. He's like helped me through a lot of this process. All the way through. He believes in me and just his spirit also like helps me because I want to like <laughs> do all that stuff and so I can get to cheer <laughs> sooner. <laughs> Wasting no time, the cheer athlete began stepping it out at a Dad, rapid pace. I walked fast I see that. and did some hurdles. Does it hurt? No. All of a sudden she walked around the corner and I could not believe how dialed in they had it. I feel like I'm doing actually really good, like getting things really quick. Once Brianna masters the hallways. No loss of balance. Nope. She moves. Ready? Yes. The hospital ramps. I honestly don't know how she's done it, but she's doing it. Before stepping it up. Got it. <laughs> outside in the real world. One more time. I really surprised myself. I didn't know I could do that. Now that her leg is ready, she's ready to take off. Physical therapy at Sanford's main campus. Feel like you're ready to do your first run? Soon sprinted. Here's your weight training. Here we go. <laughs> to the field house. 30 seconds here, okay? She went to 3.9 miles per hour, which is a nice job for her. So this will be about 75% of your body weight. It feels like you're in like an inflatable. We also increased the amount of weight that she puts through her foot. We're going to keep progressing. So if you want to like keep on going and like do things normally and I want to inspire others, like I don't, yeah, just being positive throughout the whole process. I'm working towards to get back on the field, cheer. 
A carrot she'd reach in December and a jackrabbit's basketball game. This has been my goal. I wanted to start to cheer. I still am not where I want to be. I really want to like, do better, but I'm really proud that I got to this point. So. Hopping back on the sidelines with all the emotions. It was very emotional. I'm just so thankful for everyone who's all supported me throughout this journey. Everybody at Stanford has helped so much. I'm grateful, literally, for all of them. Sky's the limit, yeah. She can do whatever she wants to do. Been waiting for this day for a little while. <laughs> I cried the first time <laughs> during the school song, the first one, and that was very proud. She's worked hard to get here. Words can't even express how proud I am of her. Never give up on your dream or your goal. Even though like you might have some hard times, challenges, setbacks, just never give up. Ring, 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 the Brianna never did. And now, ring, 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 the, the Jackrabbit Jr. is courting new dreams and opportunities. Good job, With Sanford Health News, Let's go, I'm Matt Holson.